Shabbat Shalom. Um, welcome to our Shabbat Shira service, which has extra musicians and extra special music and a very different vibe, but definitely um, a good vibe for Shabbat. lighting the candles that mark the division between the rest of the week and Shabbat. And I'd like to invite Tatiana Novikov to come up and do our candle blessing. I told you it was going to be the hardest part was going to be lighting the lighter. There we go. Okay, so all you have to do is, yeah. Yes, it's very, it's very foolproof. It's proof against this fool. <laughs> Thank you, Cantor. Of course. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohei no Melech Haolam Asher Hideshanu Mitzvotav Vetsivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel Shabbat. Amen. Amen. 
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Nicely Shalom. done. Beautiful. So now that we've marked the beginning of Shabbat, I invite you to get ready to welcome Shabbat. So I invite you to sit comfortably. That could include uncrossing your legs, uncrossing your arms, sitting up straight to allow you to breathe more easily because every adult who ever chided you and said, you should sit up straight so that you can breathe easily, sadly, they were correct. <laughs> and I'm going to be inviting you to take three deep breaths and three is the number of intention. And I'm going to invite you to set your intention for this Shabbat, for these 25 hours. Is your intention this Shabbat to be with family, with friends, with community? Is your intention this Shabbat to hear beautiful music, to be inspired? Is your intention this Shabbat to consider the beginnings of our story of freedom as we start the book of Exodus this week? Or perhaps your intention this Shabbat is to encounter holiness in time. You are invited now to take three deep breaths and to choose that intention for yourself.
years ago, I saw the movie Big Fish by Tim Burton. I went not being much of a Tim Burton fan and not really being sure of what the movie was about. The movie was amazing. It's the story of a relationship between a father and a son over many years. The father is famous for telling fantastical stories about his life. Given an opening, he will jump in telling tall tales that become more and more unbelievable. As a boy, the son loves every minute of it. As a teen, the son tolerates it. As an adult, the son can't stand it. Why doesn't he like his father's stories? The stories are always over the top, and as far as he is concerned, not true. Not surprisingly, the son becomes a journalist who pursues the facts and the truth. Towards the end of the movie, the son comes to a realization about his father. He told the story so many times, he became the story. That is my favorite moment in the entire movie because I think it is true. We tell our stories so many times that we become those stories. How does this connect with our Torah portion this week, Parashat Shemot? Because we begin the book of Exodus this week and we begin to tell, again, one of the central stories of our identity as Jews. We were slaves in Egypt and God redeemed us. We retell the story of our slavery in Egypt each year as we read the Torah. We begin reading the narrative this week, although there have been hints for the last few weeks, ever since Joseph was sold into slavery in Egypt. The Ten Commandments begin, I, the Eternal, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. We retell the story throughout the year. Why do we celebrate Shabbat? Because we were slaves in Egypt and God freed us so that we could celebrate Shabbat. Why do we celebrate Passover? Because we were slaves in Egypt and God redeemed us. We reenact the story in our liturgy on a daily basis. When we speak of the crossing of the Sea of Reeds and sing the song, Mi Chamocha, the song that the Israelites sang as God freed them, because we were slaves in Egypt. In the Mishnah, we read, In every generation, each of us is obligated to see ourselves as if we personally had been liberated from Egypt. This is clearly a central story, if not the central story to our identity as Jews. We tell this story so many times in order to become the story. Our tradition wants us to become this story because it affects how we act in the world. When we remember that we were slaves in Egypt, we are more likely to do something about injustice. When we remember that we were slaves in Egypt, we are more likely to treat the stranger as ourselves. When we remember that we were slaves in Egypt and that God redeemed us, it changes and strengthens our relationship to the eternal. We tell our story so often that we become our story. Doesn't matter if the story is fantastical or true. It does matter that there is truth in it and it is a story worth becoming. We were slaves in Egypt, and now we are free because God redeemed us.
shoulders with wisdom rise. Ancestors surround us rise. In hope, in prayer, we find ourselves here. In hope, in
Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leha, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezachir Chasei Avot Ve'imahot, Umi Vigula Livne Vnehem, Leman Shemo Be'ahava, Melech Ozer Moshia Omagain, Baruch Atah Adonai, Magin Avraham Vezrat Sara, Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mechayeha Kol Atah Rav Vehoshia, Mashiva Ruach Morid HaGashem, Mechakil Chayim Bechesed, Mechayeha Kol Berachamim Rabib, Samech Noflim Verofech Oholim, Umatir Asurim, Mekahayim Emunato, Lishinei Afar, Mirchamach Abagivurot, Umidamehalach, Melech Memit Mechahayei, Umat Miach Yeshua, Benemanat Alach Hayot HaKol, Baruch Atah Adonai, Mechayei HaKol. Ata Kadosh Veshimcha Kadosh, Ukroshim Mechoyam Yalelu Chasela, Baruch Atah Adonai, Ha'il HaKadosh.
service where we ask God's healing blessings on those that are in need of healing, healing of body, healing of spirit. Um, on behalf of the congregation at this time, we keep in mind Susan Alexander, Susie Anderson, Hal Arnold, Virginia Becker, Tony Baraldi, Jean Brosco, Lisa Brunkhorst, Gildardo Carrera, Sandy Christofferson, Kevin Cooper, Ariana Elmas, Rabbi Sim Glazer, Jody Goldstein, Robbie Hoskovic, Judy Kaiman, Karen Levin, Mike Liddy, Mario Lopez, Gary Marshall, Brandy Matson, Emily McWhorter, Carmen Munn, Brian Nog, Pedro Comi Olimpio, Nadine Ostro, Karen Euler, Wendy Passer, Gail Peterson, Jamie Poole, Linda Redler, Steve Redler, Samuel Rosinski, Emily Sachs, George Sachs, Gregory Sachs, Steve Seglin, Linda J. Sherman, Dee Dee Spiegel, Sarah Jane Tietzel, Laura J. West, Barb Wig, Brent Wine, Kate Yule. Are there those that you, for those in the sanctuary this evening, are there those you are keeping in mind for healing? If so, say their names out loud now. Um, from those who are attending on Zoom, we are keeping in mind Sheldon Barbendur. Marcy Murphy, Bob Diskin, Luke Reeder, Claire Agar, Lloyd Agar, Ted Agar, David Irvine. We ask God's healing blessing on all of these that we've named and all of those that we keep close in our hearts.
of memory, and I invite those who are joining us on Zoom this evening to put into the chat the name of anyone that they would like remembered um, for Kaddish this evening. I am saddened to announce the recent death of Sally Telpner. We are in the period of Shiva, the first seven days of mourning for Lawrence, Lauren Dexter Beal. We are in the period of Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning for Adam Skog and Arnie Weintraub. We are remembering the yard sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Herman Abraham, Bernice Epstein Adler, Leonard Appel, Marshall Becker, Sanford Isidore Brophy, Edward Irwin Seacan, Samuel H. Chapman, Anna Lee Cohn, John Arthur Farber, Bruce J. Goldstein, Henry Hiller, Ray Jacobson, Goldie Joseph, Marcel Kasner, Sarah R. Krasny, Jesse Levin, Evelyn T. Levy, Bessie S. Levy, Stanley Lewin, Joseph Lipton, Sarah Milder, Benjamin Bernard Packer, Dennis V. Passer, M.D., Harry H. Priestman, William A. Rakusin, Dr. Merle N. Rips, Franklin Paul Rogers, Rita M. Rosenblum, Stella S. Rosenthal, Edith R. Siegel, Theodore M. Selden, Elizabeth Singer, Debbie Jo Tatelman, Ann Milder Taxman, Milton R. Wessel, Leonard L. Wolka, Tilly Wright. If you are keeping someone in mind for Kaddish, I invite you to stand now and say their name. And I'm not seeing any names that are listed on the Zoom for those that we are remembering, for those that we've named and those that we keep close in our hearts, I invite everyone to please stand in support and comfort for the mourners as we recite Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkada shemei rabba ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala v'zman kari v'yimru. Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevorach Leolam Ome Omaya, Yit Barach Vishtabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit Adar, Vit Alev, Yit Halal, Shemeda Kutsha, Burihu, Leela Min Kol Bir Hata Vashirata, Tushbe Hata Venechamata, Da Amiran Belma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vechaim Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O se shalom bimramav, huya o se shalom, 
Alenu ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, v'yimru. Amen. Please be seated. Um, I would like to say a very big thank you. Here's my list of thank yous. Uh, beginning with our musicians, um, Doug Montera on drums, or drum and tambourine, uh, Tom Friedman on guitar, Kyle Knapp on guitar, da Darcy Gamerell on oboe. Um, I would like to thank um, those who are in the back of the house, including Scott Anderson. For our tech this evening, we had help from Eli Lopez and Jay Asher. Um, and our ONIG volunteers included Maxine Nudel, Gail Knapp, and Francisco Guzman Jimenez. Thank you to our Zoom maven, Karen Euler. And thank you to um, Joseph Pinson and Eileen Arnold for their hospitality this evening. Um, all those who are wearing their board badges, if you'll stand up and wave hello in a friendly way to everyone. These are members of our board of trustees. If you have questions or things that you want to share with them, you can very easily find them now. Tubishvat is coming up. We're planning a multi-generational Seder for February, Sunday, February 5th at 11.15 a.m. Please RSVP by January 27th. We have two new adult education opportunities coming up. Rabbi Azrael will be teaching about familial responsibilities on Janu Sunday, January 22nd and Sunday, January 29th. That's going to be both in person and on Zoom. I'm going to be teaching Zoom only um, about the Book of Legends on Tuesday, January 31st and Tuesday, February 14th. And that's going to be at 7 p.m. Next Saturday at 7 p.m., the community is invited to the JCC to participate in a conversation with Maharat Rory Picker Nice about racial justice and how we can improve relations with our black neighbors. Save the date for Purim. We have exciting events planned for Shabbat on March 3rd and a carnival on March 5th. This also means the return of Mishloach Manot, which begins on... Sunday. One more thing. Tomorrow morning, after Torah study, yes, we have our return of Shabbat morning worship without B'nai Mitzvah. So please, please join us for Shabbat morning services. We will be in here. Um, it will be also on Zoom. Come and worship Saturday morning, ten thirty, following Torah study at nine fifteen. Thank you, with Rabbi Kendra. Berizin. With Rabbi Berizin. It, it looks to be a really good, a uh, really lovely service. So, Kiddush? I think Kiddush sounds like a grand idea. <laughs> <laughs> I invite you to rise as we do Kiddush and Motzi, and then you'll be ready to dance for our final song. <laughs> Who's going to do it with me? Who's going to dance? Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Borei Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedushanu Metzotam Veratzav Ahanu Veshabbat Kodesho Beahava Uvratzon Inchilanu Zikaron Lemaase Vereshit Ki Ho Yom Tehila Lemikrai Kodesh Zecher Letziat Mitzrayim Ki Vanu Avacharta Veotanu Ki Adashta Mikol Amim Veshabbat Kodshecha Veahava Uvratzon Hinchaltanu Baruch Adonai Mekadish HaShabbat L'chaim. Baruch HaTadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem in Haaretz B'Teavon. 
We conclude with Ya'alos Sadai, let the fields and everything in them exult, then shall all the trees of the forest shout with joy. So I hope you will join me as a tree of the forest and shout with joy. Shabbat shalom. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't trip on your tallit. Oh. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Karen, and thank you, and Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Shabbat Shalom, Lisa. Karen, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. You're welcome, Thanks, everyone.